All right, guys, welcome back to the Buck Fever Podcast. I'm Noah. This is Jake. How you doing, buddy? Good. It's been a long oh time since we've been in the studio. It's good to be back. It's it just is. good to be back doing anything, you know. So it's funny. We were, uh, we finished up our turkey season, and we're going to get into that. That's going to be <laughs> the main topic of conversation for today. But we finished up our turkey season, and we're thinking, all right, what's next? We got some ideas. I'm going to post something on Instagram at Real Buck Fever Outdoors, find out what everybody wants to see. So give some options. You want to see musky fishing, carp shooting, podcasts. I might have put other, maybe not, I don't know. So we had like 70% of people said carp shooting, like 30% said musky fishing. We had one person <laughs> click podcast, and I'm pretty sure that he hit the wrong button. Like I'm pretty sure he's just clicking through Ooh. or like, I don't know, I'm, I'm almost positive he didn't hit the right button. And that's the one but, we chose. Yeah. <laughs> so, and now here we are shooting a podcast. But carp fishing, or carp shooting, I should say, that's coming. Um, got a guy, name's Jack, Gabby's brother. You probably saw him in the sucker spearing video. He was one of the main assassins. He Absolutely was. went crazy. The man with the bow. Um, so he's gonna, he's got the boat to figure out, the spot to figure out. He's on that, but we're, we're gonna get carp shooting in at some point this summer. Musky fishing, uh, we went out last weekend, absolutely got skunked. Uh, we spent like the better part of a day musky fishing. It was actually so bad that then we said, well, we're gonna quit, spend an hour and just try and catch a bass, try and catch a northern. Couldn't even do that. And it's like, I don't know. That doesn't happen to us very often. Somebody will catch something. We just got absolutely skunked. So it was just terrible. We're trying to bring the content that everybody wants to see. Um, but this is the, about the only thing we actually could control and get the animals to cooperate because there's no animals here. And that's, I mean, that's the way it was with turkey season too. I remember before we started, we were saying, all right, so how many turkey hunting videos can we realistically get in? I like, think, how, like, what can we do? I think I recall saying I want to shoot 10 turkeys total between yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody on film. Yeah, you said you wanted five personally, just for you. That was a big number, but, but that could have been done. If that's you got, the thing. Yeah, if you knew our past years, it's yeah. completely doable. And last year kind of actually sucked. Like, last year was normally would be like a down year. Yeah. Because I mean, you like shot what? one, Terry shot one, I shot one. So we had three, and that yeah. was kind of a down year actually it was and then this year it was just it was so so bad but let's let's take it from the top so it's the, the first period i got a tag and you're the only one with a tag not to mention that no one i or is we're at like the end of our school so we got like fridays thursdays off so we're hunting like four days a week yeah like, i only had school three days a week so yeah i had like four days i off. had to I go till just... one on thursday and oh we'd go back pick them up and we'd head up there for the whole weekend mm -hmm. i mean we were gone Every weekend I hunted. So did he. And first season is kind of cold. I can't remember. That must have been the second day we saw those, that group. I think so. Well, because we went up at night Thursday mm -hmm. night and got skunked. And then Friday morning, we go back out there, hear some goblin. Yeah, we went on the other side of the road. We got out there way too late. And, uh, and anyway, we were walking back to the truck, and there was two Toms, a Jake, and one or two hens. So we, like, make a move. We get down there on them, and... <laughs> We, we pop the fan up, we get over this little valley, and we're like, oh, there they are, 60 yards away. And the Tom's, like, running around chasing this, what we thought was the other Tom, but it was the Jake. And we were, like, trying to get him to come in for, like, 10 minutes, and we're kind of like, oh, we're just about to leave. And I go, we're about to say, no, like, don't move. There's a redhead five yards away from us popped up over the hill because we were, like, looking down. And so I didn't even have my gun. It was just... He walked behind the tree, I quick got my gun up, and I'm just right on him, safe. He's just about to come off, and I'm like, you on him? He's like, yeah. I'm like, that's a Jake. <laughs> Had like a three-inch beard. Should have shot him because he walked. He was walking past us, and I'm like, dude, that might be a Tom. Like, it was yeah. big. Because sometimes they, the, their beards will freeze off. So, like, my dad shot one one year. That was a Tom strutting goblin, and uh, it only had a three, four-inch beard. They just freeze off. So then... I'm like, oh, it's first season, second day out here. I'm like, no, nah, it'll be all right. We'll get more. Boy, was I wrong. Yeah, I mean, so it was a big bird, and I think we have some good footage of it still. I'll yeah. try and get that wrapped in here if we still have it. Uh, I, it yeah, it was a big bird. It probably had, like, maybe a three-inch beard, or maybe four. I don't know. I don't fully remember. It was a couple was, months ago now. Yeah. But, it, I mean, 
it, it was a Jake, but like it was a big bird. And historically speaking, I don't think you've ever shot one first or second season, correct? I've shot a few in the youth hunt, but never first or second. So yeah. it's been third or after. So it was one of those things where it's like, well, it would kind of almost be a bonus bird yeah. because we've never done it before. But at the same time, we're thinking, oh, we have so much time. It's going to be our year. Plus with the two Toms that were behind them, I was like. Because mm -hmm. yeah, you never know what's going to happen. Maybe they, you know. He, the Jake tucks back and, and the Toms come up. Who knows? We almost got on him later. Mm -hmm. We walked back to the truck, went back around the other way, and I called, and they gobbled, came out to the field, saw our decoy, didn't like it, started putting. I, we weren't hid very well. I mean, this is early, middle yeah. of April, so there's no lead. I mean, we're just sitting up against a tree. Long story short, we didn't get him. So then first season comes and goes. Uh, second season, my dad's got a tag. I honestly don't even know what happened. I mean, we got on some birds. They just didn't want to cooperate. Our number one spot just wasn't producing. We tried hitting up some other places. Still really couldn't get on them. Uh, that was really it for his season. Yeah. It, I don't think we had Neither any one was very good. I mean, weather-wise, it wasn't the greatest. And then, yeah, like the spot, like the main spot that we've always gone to just – didn't produce we didn't take a single bird off there at all this year nobody did yeah no uncles no, nothing nothing happened there and it wasn't even like we were seeing them but couldn't get to them because after that first season there we didn't even really see any we, we would see a couple hens after third yeah. season yeah it, it was bad and, and so then there's one or two other spots that are like pretty locked down every year permission yeah. you can go hunt every now and then you know, maybe a three. certain yeah maybe a certain period somebody yeah. else gets to hunt there or whatever but a couple other spots and none of that worked out it was like it, horrible yeah it was all just bad so third season rolls around all three of us get tagged yeah and so now we've all got them but the third season so after the first two we're like well we never shot one then we're fine yeah third season comes around this is when we always get on them we're gonna be in good shape. We all have tags now. And who knows how many days we had even been hunting at that point. It was probably like eight or 10. I think I finished with 20 before we left for our trip and that was in four seasons. Yeah. There's something we, crazy. We hunted quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so third season, is that the first time we ventured? That's when we really started driving, I think. Because eventually we really started driving, scouting public getting permission spots yeah, yeah i was gonna get to that yeah like i think it was third season is when we were like okay something's wrong this is not working out and we gotta get somewhere else yeah um we my dad he he's kind of the older style hunter like he doesn't like the mm -hmm. move he wants to sit right. and we we're starting to change him so thanks a little for bit. being like that yeah a little bit and uh so we we're like let's just go driving no one i have been scouting public lately we scouted it early in the year so you know there's birds there and um, we, third season, where did we even start? I know a couple times we went to John's and didn't have any luck. And then um, we went to some public, or we were asking for permission by public and just couldn't get anything. Like there was birds everywhere and every, everybody everywhere. hunts, but there's five times strutting in their field and they all hunt. So I didn't right. get that, but Well, whatever. yeah, so like to go more in depth there, so there's – the the town that the main spot is on there, there's a town there and you got to go a little further out yeah. from that there's another town and that's where all the birds were and i don't know why i don't know what the separation was there but we struggled to find any in the main spot go one town over and there's just like crazy a, yeah everywhere and so yeah so we we finally we're getting some courage we're like okay we're going to start asking for permission because we just got to find a spot. We got to get somewhere where we can just get a bird and like just get started. And so that was a big, big thing there was driving around, finding a Tom, slamming on the brakes, putting the binoculars up, make sure it's a Tom. Okay, yeah. going on Onyx. Somebody's Who looking at it? it. Somebody's on Onyx. The other yep. person's driving. Yeah. It's quite the system. Figure out where they live and go up and ask permission if we can, yep. which it sucks because in the morning is when the turkey hunting is the best, but you forget because we'll be up at like 3 a.m., drive there, it's now like 4, and then it's light, you know, whenever it is, we start driving around and it's like 5 a.m. and we're looking at birds strutting out in the fields. Yeah. And you forget, oh, I can't go up and knock on somebody's door because it's 
5 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Yeah. That's, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna get permission for that. Exactly. So your best chance for permission then is in the afternoon when the hunting can still be all right. But even that, that's the other thing. That's more like first and second season territory for you. I don't think you shot a lot of birds in, in nope. the afternoon. And I say you specifically. I've never, never killed one in the afternoon. Yeah. And I say you specifically because you've done a lot more turkey hunting than I have. Mm. I haven't been going at it for as many years. You've been doing it for quite a while now. Got either, quite a few. Here's my dad. I don't think he's ever killed him. Yeah, the afternoon, the afternoon just hasn't been productive, and that continued throughout this season. Now, I mean, that's not saying much because the mornings weren't very good for us either, but we did actually land quite a few, um, quite a few permission spots. The first one was close to your place, the first place we asked. Yeah, we got denied right away, but... yeah. I mean, but it was cool though. It was because we've never hunted. I mean, we've never asked for permission in our lives. No. So we've never really had to. Yeah. yeah. Like we, we've never really had to ask permission because we've always had spots and they've been good. And so that's just how it's been. And asking permission, I, that, that wasn't even something that crossed my mind until recently. Like you start to see some of these shows, you start to watch and seek one or some of these other guys where that's literally what they do. They don't own land. They just like seek one specifically. They, yeah. they just go ask for permission spots and they get them. And so this year when things weren't going well, we were like, all right, we just got to do that. So the first guy we go and ask, he has a spot that's just on the road from Mile, your maybe. main place. Yeah. And so when things weren't going well early on in the season, we would pack everything up, quit, start driving around and try and figure out what's going on. Where are the birds? And we would see him out in this guy's field Every all the time. Day. And finally we were like, let's just go ask him. Let's just go see. We drive down, he's got a long driveway, knock on the door. Nobody answers. We hear music on the inside. Like, okay, wrong door. We go up, get to the other door. The guy comes out. We ask permission. And at some point along the line, he says no, which I knew he was going to say no as soon as we pulled in. Because as soon as we pull in, so it's a farm. And he's got, you know, different outbuildings and sheds and barns yeah. and whatever. And he's got antlers everywhere. He's got a couple turkey fans, fans like, yeah. laid out. So I was like, okay, clearly he hunts or somebody here hunts. We're not going to get permission here. But we go up, ask anyways. And I'm proud of that because it would have been really easy to just be like, oh, no, he's not going to say yeah. yes. Let's just leave. We went up and asked. And at some point along the lines, he recognized you from the Blade Runner video. Yep. And that kind of spread like wildfire through that area, obviously, mm -hmm. because it was a huge deer that was taken in that area. Everybody wanted to see it. Everybody heard about it. So it was a big thing. And he recognized you from that. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Asked if we were the, the video guys. Yeah, if we were the video guys. <laughs> Super nice guy. I, yeah. But almost everybody we've talked to has been... No, we didn't, we didn't come across anybody who oh, was like one rude. That one, well, she was just confused. She... <laughs> She oh, didn't know that what situation. We were asking. Yeah. Well, that was interesting, though. That, yeah. That's a whole other story. <laughs> that day specifically. On that one. <laughs> that, yeah, that day specifically <laughs> is a whole other story. But aside from that instance, everybody else was like really good. Even in the nose we got, it wasn't like a disrespectful. It was just like, no, oh, somebody hunts here. Yeah. They hunted there, or they had family that hunted there. And like we respect that because mm -hmm. we would be the same way yeah. if one of our spots. Because we don't own the land that we have the permission to hunt on. So if the landowners of those spots all of a sudden were like, yeah, you know, anybody that knocks on the door, I'll let them hunt there. We'd be like, yeah. what the heck? What's going on? Mm -hmm. So, like, we totally respect that. If somebody's hunting there, okay, we're going to stay away, mind our business, it's all good. And we actually did get, like, after... You went up and asked the first guy, I got to know. I think I asked the next two or three, and, like, everybody said yes. We had a couple. And yeah. the thing was, when you're asking permission, it's because we're driving around. We see a specific bird out in the field, so we know he's there. We know where he's at. We're going up and asking permission to try to hunt that specific bird at that specific time. And then you got to try to figure out, once you get a yes, you got to try to figure out, okay, how do I get in here and get at this bird without spooking it? Which was not very successful for us. But just the matter of fact that when a lot of people, like, if you look at Seek One in those big places of Midwest Whitetails, they ask for a lot of permission. Like, yeah. they'll ask 90 people and only get 
five yeses. Like it's not like you got to ask a lot of people. We were fortunate enough. We got like probably seven or eight out of twenty. I mean, we were. Yeah, we were almost we had a good, 50, yeah, 50 We had a good percentage, but maybe forty percent. It's we'll in, say. You just yeah, just be respectful. I mean, if they're. It's kind of how, like, if you see them and, or you think, like, oh, maybe not, maybe we should just let this one go, like, yeah. just leave it. Don't force it. I mean, there's other birds everywhere else, and um, that that's what leads into the not asking if it's super early in the morning, which worked out good for us because that's how we killed men's. Yeah, that was fourth season. So that was fourth season. So fourth. at this point now, we still all have tags. Nothing's been Plus filled. Ben. Ben's and got a tag now. Now Ben's got a yeah. tag. And we were like, yeah, we're going to let him, you know, if one comes by, we're going to let him shoot. He's never shot one before. So we're like, yeah, you know, it's fine. We, we just want to get the video out of it, be a part of it. It doesn't matter who pulls the exactly. trigger. Exactly. It's so much fun just yeah, being a part of it. Yeah, we just want to be a part of it and, you know, just get to see it all. So that was a Friday. He had off of school. Yeah, he had off of school um, and we just got up early, got going and it was the same sort of situation like we started on one of the lockdown permission spots not a bird nothing and already at this point it's the, within the first 15 minutes of hunting you're like okay it's another day again we just spent i don't know like 50 bucks in gas <laughs> to get up here not and to mention we got that, up so early yeah that day was going to be 95 for a high so hot just and and you're 15 minutes in, you're like, okay, here we go. Like, <laughs> we're not gonna get one. You just the, went today's for a ride. Gonna suck. Yep. A really expensive ride. It took a whole day, and so then we hop in the truck and we start going. I think we went and checked out the main spot there. After that, nothing. nothing. And so we start driving and we start driving. And and at this point in the season, we have it pretty locked down. Like. At this point, we had so much time in that area. We, we knew where the birds were. Yeah, we had a, um, a route. We, we, yes, we had a certain route that we were taking. We knew, okay, we're, this is where we're going to drive. They're going to be out in this field, in this field, in this field. These are the people who own this and that, whatever. We knew where we had permission and didn't. Like We, we knew all that stuff. And so we could kind of be a little bit more efficient. Like, all right, nothing was here. Well, we know there's always been birds here so mm -hmm. let's just go there right now and, and double check and so that was a lot of it we start going and that day i remember we asked somebody new because it was a farmer and they were out and about i don't know if you remember that so yeah because there was that first place what was after ben killed is right though Oh, it might have been. Yeah, so... But we did that, yeah, so we, we asked a lot of people that day. We get to the spot where we're going, and this was sort of new for us. We've we've hit this public before, but we hit, like, the the western part of it. Like, we never went to the farthest yeah. east part it's, of it. It's, like... It's pretty big. It's a it's, couple thousand acres, but it's all, like... It's, it's broke long. up really weird, yeah. Yeah, it's, like, it's like a long yeah. property. So we go down to here. The first spot, we've never really been here before, and we turn the corner. No one doesn't believe me that there's even public down here. <laughs> we get to this we cross the hill and i'm like okay there's like 20 birds on the field and a couple strutting so once again it's six o'clock and we're like can't ask for permission now because everybody's sleeping so we're just trying to kill time drive around not to mention public's right across the road so we're driving around doing a couple laps going towards public and i mean if you watch the video but uh we <laughs> i'm driving and I swear, I got an eye for animals. Like I, and I'm like, that's a dark spot. Glass them, Tom, 200 yards off the road, pull in, driveway's right there. It's like it was meant to be. Pull in, cross the ravine, kill them within five minutes. I mean, coolest thing ever. I know, and you were driving at the time. <laughs> and it just, like, you just happened to look over that way, and you're like, oh my God, there's a bird right there. And yeah, I didn't believe you at all at, at first. Cause it was just like, it's one of those things you spend so much time and we're looking for birds all the time you start seeing a stump out there and all of a sudden your first reaction is that that's a bird Let's or we go get it goof around with each other or yeah that too so it's like you just never know but then you back up see it i lay eyes on it that's the only bird we saw there ended up being at least one hen with it that we ended up seeing later but it's like okay we finally got one on public now we don't need to go and ask permission because that's the other thing even the quickest permission process is going to be like 10 minutes, yeah. 15, 20. 
Well, we had a couple that was like half an hour. Yeah. So, and it's because you meet really nice people who share a common interest, yeah. who, you, you know, you want to have a and conversation you just start talking with. about hunting in the outdoors. Right. And... So it's all good. But turkey's like, it's kind of a time sensitive issue. You see one out in the field, it's like, okay, we got to go now. We can't wait a half an hour and then go get them. So turkeys with, are weird they have all day they have nothing to do in all day to do it yeah so they can just they just go wherever whenever it doesn't matter yeah. but it, like what we would usually see is if you see one out in the field it's not going to be there forever yeah they're, they're going to just move along keep going and so it was nice finding that one on public we're like finally we don't have to ask anybody we can just pull into the driveway it was right there nobody else was there let's just go so we do and we just get everything on quiet and at this point it starts to feel like it's going to happen and there was like a dozen times this year where i had that feeling in my chest like okay it's going to happen right now this is when it's finally going to turn we're going to get it done and it was another one of those times where it's looking like okay we're actually going to do this we're going to get this bird so and that's making ben nervous we're all just kind of like you know hush voices but we're kind of rushing trying to get there and get everything ready we might have lost the gopro at this point i don't know we, we lost a gopro somewhere along brand the season one. two brand new we got to find that somewhere i don't it's, know where it it's is it's somewhere clearly so if it's, it's in the woods it's gone but if it's, well, in, it's in the vehicles woods. no it's, it's in the woods somewhere we just don't know where that but, just sucks yeah but that's besides the point it might have been that day we lost it might have not we don't know but we get everything on quick start heading and we experienced this a couple other times with public too we would run into a spot and then it would be like oh crap this looks different than what we thought it would look like all of a sudden there's water we have to cross we didn't know that this one there was no water but it was this big ravine that had to go down it was like come a back up the other side it's like this like water should have been there maybe at one point at one point i don't know there should have been water there if there wasn't and so we think, well, should we go around? But now it's time sensitive. And we're like, are we going to come out and then be exposed? And the bird's going to see us. We're going to have no way to go. We just decide, no, we're not doing that. We're going down, coming back up. And it wasn't too bad. Get down, come up the other side. And we had just the right topography there. Like we, there was just enough of a hill that it broke everything up. And they couldn't see us coming up. We're in the open field, but the hills kind of saved yep. us a little bit come up and we just get out we're laying still open in the field and we we get up there and we just set up there and i'm the one who's like no we got to get hidden we got to get out of here he's going to see us right away he's going to spook and you're like no no just stay here we're just going to try just, it just because of the luck i've had with these fans like it if they're if they're going to come in it doesn't matter like yeah. they're going to come in it and this is kind of a special day i mean we've, we've never hunted public another thing we started doing and yeah we never really that was cool yeah. to kill one and then when uh ben's only went a few times but no and i have went a lot more and um i call and he gobbles and that's when i knew i'm like okay it, it's gonna happen like yeah ben doesn't i don't know if ben realized like now it's gonna happen but like i'm like okay he's gonna come yeah. sure enough pops up boom, just straight in and that yeah was, that he, was so cool I he mean, came right in like if you watch the video it's the last one we had up it's you know this year's turkey video and um i cut it up a little bit but not much like i might have cut out like five seconds here or there it was probably three minutes or so from the time we like set up and started calling when he got there if that like if it was that, just i mean yeah it, it was really really fast and that's kind of the power of the fans like that because that's what we did and you can see that in the video too and start calling and and all of a sudden i can see him and i'm like put the fan up 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 and so i then you can kind of see in the video the shadow of you putting the fan up in the air and when he sees that boom on a string just comes yep. in and then ben absolutely hammered him yeah ben made a great shot yeah, was, but like that just goes to show we had one fan and three guys yeah ben and i were kind of close where ben might have been a little hidden Noah was just behind the camera. Like, yeah. didn't matter. Just and out I, there. I wasn't even laying on my stomach. I was kneeling like mm -hmm. this. So it, if they're going to come, they're going to come. And what I've heard as a tip, the reason why is because it's a real feather. There's something about the real feathers on that fan that when the sun hits it, it 
just reflects the story and they can see that it's real and nothing else matters. Mm -hmm. That whereas like with a decoy with fake feathers, no matter how realistic they look, they just don't look the same. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter about the head or the body or the beard or anything. Like if it's just the tail feathers when they look real, that's it. Or when they are real and the sun hits them, that's it. There's something, a, a switch literally just flips in their brain and they're coming. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I don't know how to explain it, but so, I'm glad yeah, I figured we, that out. We got pretty lucky with that. Everything worked out well. He got his bird. I don't even know what time it is at this point. It's like seven twenty. I was yeah, I was gonna say seven in the last early, or, really early. Yeah, and and so we're taking pictures, we're celebrating. You know, it's all good. And then we're like, well, the luck turned. Let's go. Let's go get a couple more. I think it's you say early. I think you cut this out, but I'm like, let's go kill another one. I was like, yeah. let's go. We got to go. We got another mm -hmm. one to kill. And then that's when we asked for a bunch more permission. Didn't get anything, but it was still a good day. So then the next day, Saturday, like same weather. I'm like, all right, we pick up. We go get my dad the next day. And we're like, all let's right, we're do it. we're fired up. Like, let's just go there right away. Like, yeah. <laughs> let's not waste any time. Same birds out in the same field on private. We finally get to ask for permission this time. Everybody hunts. That's where that one girl was very well, confused about the whole. There was that, yeah, but it was it was a weird thing because it was like, so we would go up and we would knock on somebody's door, you know, and we just we kind of got right into it. You know, people might say, oh, there's a certain way you should go about it. Maybe you should offer something up. And we were we just walked up and you know we were like, hey, we're a couple of local turkey hunters. We just like they know we're, we're all 19, decked out yeah. in camo. We're nineteen and twenty. We don't just have money right. To throw we, there's around. nothing we can offer. It's an yeah. hour drive. We, we like we just want to know. Can we have permission to just hunt this property? Yeah, just for that's, one day. Yeah, it's just, like, we don't want to hunt here forever. We just want to yeah, try it out. Just we, right now. Yeah, can we go right now and then that's it. And we, so we would go up, ask people, hey, you know, can we hunt on your property? They like, oh, I got a couple guys who are hunting it. You know, I don't know what period they have but i know they're hunting out here and it's like maybe that's true but you want to just be like dude there, there's like five times starting on your field right <laughs> yeah. now like, you should probably get out there like give them a call yeah <laughs> you know Tell get them, them out here be like hey i got a couple for you if, if you're such big hunters go yeah. get them then they're out there i agree it, it just got frustrating like that because again if people are hunting that property we don't want to step on their toes it just gets frustrating like that where you're like, oh, and all the people hunt. And it's like, there's no blind set up. There's no nothing. And you're just thinking if you hunt that much, you'd think you'd be out there killing those birds. Mm -hmm. Because like for us, the thought is if we had that at one of our permission spots, we'd be there every single day hunting them religiously. Yep. And they'd be dying. You know, like we would be, we'd yeah. be getting them because that's how it was. You pop that fan up, boom, one down and you just keep going. So that was very frustrating to know, especially because in that one area, we would see like five in one field, seven in another, like we had- Just tons you know, of birds. A bunch of birds, plenty to go around where in the spots that we had permission, we weren't really getting anything. Yeah. And so, yeah, so then we go down, there's this one lady's house, like there's, this one field. It was in the middle, like right here, and then there was a house over here and a house over here. Yeah. And public was like just right back over here. There's, so we asked this person. Yeah. And that's who everybody hunted, which was whatever. They owned the field that yeah. the birds were in. So then we asked the lady, well, there's a lady and a guy. Well, we but, tried other stuff because we tried the farm behind. Yep. And they were Drive gone. all the way down the driveway. It didn't look like anybody was home. Like this is our last resort because it, it looked yeah. like, kind of like a like a vacation home, which is kind of weird to say because it's in the middle of the woods and not on a lake. But anyway, so we're like, no, oh, let's try it. And <laughs> she was just confused with what we were asking. She's like, yeah, it was weird. We own this. We're like, we know. That's, that's why yeah, we're asking. Yeah, we go down. <laughs> that's so, why we're asking you to well, hunt it. Well, at first, she's got all these signs up, no trespassing, <laughs> yeah. no soliciting. I was like, I'm going to solicit. You know, like we're not, we weren't trespassing. We were just on the driveway. I don't think that's trespassing. Like, mm. we're just going down the driveway. Yeah. We weren't like recklessly doing anything, but I was like, yeah, I'm going to solicit here. I'm not trying to peddle Girl Scout cookies or anything, but so we go up there yeah. and she's doing dishes in the like front, like area, like, like in, can the windows see are open. the driveway. I can hear her sink running. Like, she can see the drive. She sees us pull in. 
Then all of a sudden, so she, then she like walks back, like leaves so we can't see her. And I'm thinking, okay, so she's coming around to the door. Yeah. Like she saw us pull in, she's coming around to the door, she's gonna come talk to us. I'm knocking, nothing. <laughs> Knock I, again, nothing. I'm like, let's get out of here. Yeah. Like, so I'm you're, like, at this, this point, you're a little bit right. freaked out. Like, we gotta get out of here. So start walking back to the car. I open the door up, I look back, she's back to doing dishes again. So I say something to her, I'm like, hey, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? And then at this point, you could see, like, the, the her demeanor kind of changed. She was like, you know, yeah, she was pissed now because we were soliciting. <laughs> so we, <laughs> I started talking to her through her, like, window, through her screen as she's doing the dishes. She's not happy about it. I kind of started going by, explaining everything, you know, hey, we're a couple local turkey hunters. We saw there was some turkeys out in this field right next to your property. Uh, we were just wondering if we could have permission to hunt on it for the day. She's like, well, we own this. I was like, yeah, that's why we're here. Yeah, that, that's why I'm asking yeah. you because you own it. We're so just I'm trying like, to find out. Yeah, we're like, can we just, we just want to try it. Like, we're not going to run here forever. If somebody else owned it, I'd be at their house right now. <laughs> but you own it. So that's why I'm asking you if I can just go hunt for the day. She's like, well, you'd have to ask my husband, but he hunts and he's sleeping right now. And at this point, I was so close. I almost, I was like, well, you want to go wake him up for me? <laughs> like, That's you know, he's just, sleeping, yeah. but you can change that. You I can get like, him up. Let's just get out of here. Like, this is yeah. not my cup of tea. Oh my we need God. to get out of here. No, I left him be. It was like, but it was again, like, well, you might want to say, hey, you know, wake up. There's birds out there. Go kill them. You're such a big hunter. But yeah, it was it was whatever. She was a little bit spooked, and <laughs> so we were like, okay, we're gonna abandon this one. It's just not gonna work. When we tried to go to the public, like the public butts up to her property. Her property was between the field where they were at and the public. I don't even know if we tried that there. I think we. We, at one point we did with ben we did but then with my dad we went to the other end of the public member on the complete far side and we're sitting okay, up at yeah. the, we're sitting out we get out and i'm just like i'm like let me throw a call out i told mm -hmm. my dad to pull in i'm like burp, burp, burp. nothing i hit it one more time and i'm like dude i think that was a gobble yeah and no one i are sitting out there i'm like just listen one more time which i shouldn't even have done but i was the only one that heard it so i did this it again. was one we scouted like preseason. yeah i found that deadhead there and i, yeah. I do it one more they burned it too so it was like perfect mm -hmm. i hit it one more time and i'm like He's like, blah, blah. I look back at, I was on a rock. I look back at there. I'm like, my kiddo, we gotta get going. Yeah. Like, we're throwing all our stuff on. He's like, no way. And we're like running down there. And I don't know how we screwed this up, but we get up to like right where he should be over and we call again and he just hammers nothing. Never saw him, never heard him again. And I'm like, he had, he's like a hundred yards away from us. Not even. Yeah. So it's, I don't know. We, and you know, the whole time. So when we start going after him, it feels like Ben's. It's like the next day or something. And the very like, next day. Okay, it's the same thing. We're on public. We struck them up. We're going to get down there. We, I thought we had the elevation in our favor again. I thought he was down and we were going to kind of come up. Same sort of situation. He wasn't going to see us. It was all going to be good. And so then it happens and we kind of then start walking, keep gobbling, try and find him. We ended up seeing a hen somewhere i don't know if she was sitting on a nest or what yeah. but then there's a, a hen involved and so it was just one of those things where we're just trying to figure it out like what's going on why why did he spook and i, I don't know i i've been like i've read things they say like turkeys their vision is just insane like unless there is a solid thing unless there is a rock or a tree that's solid between you two they can see you no matter how dense the leaves are the grass it doesn't matter they can see you. They can't smell at all, but they can see you and they can hear pretty good too. And so I, I'm, I'm guessing even though we couldn't quite locate him, he must have had just enough vision to see us moving and just I forgot. Shut up. This is that morning. We didn't go right to the. We went to um, uh, the other spot closer, and that's when we walked up on those two. That morning. Oh yeah. We walk up on these two birds. My dad's like, I that was I, that morning. I heard one. So this and, is another permission yeah, spot. I yeah. heard one and I was like, I thought I heard a bird fly. My dad heard it too. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's like really early. We're getting down. But it, they sound, know it sounded like a Tweety bird, like, like a flying, like yeah. flying between a tree to another tree, like alongside us. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. So then we get up there and we stop 
And we're like listening. I look up and there's a Tom 10 yards away. I'm like, don't move. Tom's 10 yards away. And then behind him, there's another Tom 30 yards away. And I'm like, oh my God. And we could have waited till it was light out if they were still up there to shoot him out of the street. But eh, that's not hot. Like, no, it's, that, yeah. That's uh, not turkey hunting. Like, we're not like that. So, yeah, long story us. short, yeah, we jumped them. They fly off. And we're like, okay. So that's when we headed. But that was a yeah. spot that you and your dad specifically had hunted and scouted previously. You knew that there was at least one bird living there. You knew about where he was roosting, and that's where we were trying to get to. And we just, he was on the wrong side of the field. Yeah, we just picked the wrong side of the field to start walking down. Had we waited and been up further, not gone in as deep, had we been on the other side, they would have flew probably out. two dead yeah. birds. Because there was nobody else with them. There was no other hens. There was no nothing. Probably two dead birds. Please sponsor us, Mountain Dew. It's been a long day. I'm really thirsty. Just so good. I know. Yeah. It's, I mean, maybe. We'll see. You keep drinking them like that. Maybe. But yeah, so we just picked the wrong spot. Couldn't get on it. And that was like just the story of our season is just missed connections, things not coming together. And that, so that's still fourth season. And that was the last one that we hunted before our trip, right? Yeah, I think I went on that Sunday and then nothing happened. Yeah, nothing happened. So then we had planned the trip. So we knew that we were going to have time. We both graduated from college this year. So we knew that we were going to have time between graduation and starting our jobs. We had like a couple weeks. And so we were trying to plan something in there and trying to figure out like okay what should we do and i was kind of like maybe we should go to texas and like just do something cool down there like because they have all kinds of exotic stuff yeah and like their seasons are a little bit more open we didn't really narrow it down but we were thinking well it's still turkey season we got to go turkey hunting and we planned this well in advance of anything happening with the turkey season so far it wasn't like we made it through fourth season and then decided this was well in advance and so we were thinking, well, it doesn't pay to go to another state that has Easterns. We already have them here. Like if we're gonna go, let's try and hunt a different subspecies. Yeah. And so we, you know, we watch all kinds of hunting shows on YouTube and whatever. Did a lot we, of research. Yeah, we, we've done all that. And there's just something about the Miriams. They're just so pretty. Like those, those white feathers, it's just unbelievable. They're so pretty. Elusive. I think they are. I think they're the prettiest ones. Um, and so we just decided, okay, well, maybe let's go try and kill Miriams. Where can we do that? I'm looking it up. Nebraska. A pure Miriam. Yes. There, they, there's a spot in Nebraska that has pure Miriams. They're not hybrids. They, they haven't been introduced to the other subspecies where they got mixed. They're pure and there's not a whole lot of places where you can get that so they say um i'm not necessarily a huge stickler on that but there's some people like you say oh i got a grand slam and they're like well where'd you get your miriams oh i got it in such and such place oh that was probably a hybrid it's not a pure miriams doesn't count it's just you know hunting politics basically so us, it's, we're just it's pointless like, but let's go for it yeah so we did our <laughs> research i'm not going to say where specifically you can probably take a guess you can probably do your own research and figure it out but we, we do some research, we're like, okay, this is the spot. There's been countless videos on it, countless articles on it. This is the spot, this is where we wanna go. And they're like, hunter success rate is high here. You know, people go here. It's, it's like a world-class destination to hunt pure Miriam's turkeys. And Which it's also high in Wisconsin, the killer rate, and we were left and... Yeah, and that was no, but it was too. fun. So yeah, we, I graduated us on that Saturday, came back. I was up till like eleven thirty. We're leaving at four. We had thirteen hour drive ahead of us. We leave on Sunday. We get there and we got there. Well, we, we got there. Good time. We got there a lot earlier than we thought we were gonna. And um, so we're like, well, let's go scouting. It's like cold. It's like fifty degrees and it's just cold. windy. And it was we, crappy the yeah, first couple days. And we came from Wisconsin where it was like. 70 80 so we're freezing birds aren't we're like we have no idea what we're doing just thousands of acres of public well, you gotta say what happened first when we roll into town oh yeah 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 like so, we get into town yeah we get there we've been driving forever like we each slept for like an hour maybe 
and <laughs> I got like 15 minutes. On the way there, I got like 15 minutes. Times. He's lying, but he also no, wasn't. I, up. I got, he also I, wasn't up that late. I legitimately got like 15. Yeah, and, I wasn't. I wasn't up that late, but I got like 15 minutes of sleep on the way. You there. were a good co-pilot when you weren't driving. Yeah, you kept me awake. Yeah. So then we get there, we check into our hotel, we unload all of our stuff, and we're just like, oh, let's do it. We leave the hotel, and like the the place we were, it's so different uh, terrain than um, Wisconsin. It's like super hilly and just thousands of acres of fields we're like going down the road and their back roads like our roads are 55 theirs are 65 so we're flying down this road and i'm like this isn't good this guy's just <laughs> drifts into our lane he's coming straight at us i'm like hmm. so i'm like i lock him up we're like <laughs> fish tailing down this and he's still coming at us and i'm like no this isn't gonna be good there's cars behind me. There's other cars in the right lane coming that are where he's supposed to be. And he just goes, boom, into the ditch. Dude, it was crazy. <laughs> keeps on going, drives back out of the ditch, gets back into his lane, just keeps on going. And we're just like. Yeah, we just stared at each other. We were like, did that even just happen? Because like, we're asleep deprived. <laughs> it's like, did we just dream that? Yeah. So we're no more than half a mile down the road. Like we had barely left the hotel, knew where we were going. Start heading there. And yeah, it, so it looked, what it looked like at first was like this guy was trying to pass somebody. Like he came into our lane to try to pass somebody. That's what it looked like. And it became very clear <laughs> very quickly that that was not the case. Like he was coming at us. Considering there was nobody else in front of him either that he was going to pass. And I don't know, you, you just did a great job because there's a lot of ways that we could have crashed. I just, and I don't, it was, it must have just been some sort of like instinct and like luck to just go the right direction that he wasn't going because, so he comes into our lane and you would think, okay, well, he's going to realize clearly and get back into his lane. So we should swerve right. But he kept going that yeah. direction, like towards our side of the ditch. And so you actually went like into his lane yeah. and locked up the brakes and he, I, I didn't get a good look at him going by, but it looked like he was totally unfazed. Like he was just driving down the road, went a little sideways, and he like went into the ditch, hit the rumble strip, realized and he it. didn't he didn't like jerk it back. He just like casually <laughs> came back into his lane like nothing happened. It's like he fell asleep at the wheel. Yeah, and, and then like slept through it and then <laughs> just like kinda woke up and came back and, and it was that's just when I was like we should just go back to the hotel and sleep. Oh my god. Long story short, we see one bird that night, and it's cold. It's going to be 35 degrees in the, like, 40 degrees in the morning with rain, thunderstorms. We're like, let's just sleep in. There's yeah, the first no, morning we were yeah. there, we didn't even hunt. There's no point in going out and getting soaked and absolutely, like, let's just get some sleep. Yeah. Really cool experience. Super fun. Got on some birds later. I think we just got to go earlier in the year and uh, do a little more research, but it was super fun. Super cool to see them. Yeah. Different how they act different than other turkeys and stuff like that like that so yeah that was the thing like so then we're when we're there we did even more research we were trying to figure them out looking it up and you know so then eventually there was other people that were hunting in the same kind of public areas we had our spots just like at home you know we had a couple spots we would check that we knew birds were here there wherever and so we kind of started to see some of the same vehicles and some of the, these spots and uh, we came across these people from Iowa. Super nice um, people. Yeah, 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 really good couple of guys. Uh, they were there for quite a bit longer than we were. They were camping. They were tent. Dude, men. I can't even imagine. I would pay gladly what we paid double to just not have to be in a tent for it that It wouldn't long. have been bad, but it got cold. Like it got down to like almost yeah, freezing. Yeah, but then like night. it rained, and then you don't have a shower. Yeah, and, like I'm not. No, it's More not More power it. to those people who yeah, that was, tent everywhere. Yeah, I don't know how they did it. It's crazy. But they were, yeah, they were a great couple of guys, and they were just trying to figure it out, talking, and they were having the same struggles that we were. Like, you could hear birds gobbling in the morning when the weather was good, and we actually got to a spot where we heard maybe half a dozen different birds gobbling, and we had, like, you know, like three or four other ones that were off in this other direction on that same chunk, that we wouldn't have heard. So there's maybe like 10 different birds or something spread out on that property. And it was just, you the, couldn't get at them. The problem is if you're going to get one, it's going to take you the whole day to get to them. Yeah. Cause you got a lot That's of really what it was. You. Yeah. But like, also you have to be good at calling and they have to be willing to respond every now and then. And you kind of have to know 
the area and know where they're going and what they're doing and we just didn't have that experience yet so it was good for us now because now like let's say we go back we don't have to waste the time trying to find the spot like we know the property that we would go to and we can just leave that whole other couple thousand acres yeah of dust see yeah we, we would save a couple days if the weather is good everything's going to be better if we hit the right time of year it might have been a totally different thing but it was just like it was the i don't know it, it was just like a super fitting way to end what was just a terrible season for us like it just not to mention nothing yeah, came together not to mention we had to drive home still with nothing yeah and I was stupid enough to go again back when we got back in Wisconsin with my dad. I don't know why you did that. Oh, my God. And we would get on this. We're back at this one permission spot where we jumped him a couple of weeks before, and he's just gobbling. And it's, like, open at, like, 5. It's, like, 5.30. He's still in the roost. We're, like, what is going on? 5.45, still in the roost. 6 o'clock, he's still in the roost, probably because we jumped him before. So we're, like, oh, screw it. Let's just walk down there. We sneak down there, and he's like 20 yards behind us, still gobbling. Ends up flying the other way, and we're like, yep, that's it. We're done. Yeah. Done for the year. That's where I was at. Early. It was just like, I just knew it was quitting time. You know, like things just were not going our way. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no, you want to come? Yeah. Absolutely I knew, not. No, I knew the luck wasn't going to change. It was like, And if it did, great for you. Like, if you want to go and the <laughs> luck changes for you, awesome. Go shoot a bird. I'd be happy to make a video out of it. But I just, I was ready to be done. And you wanted more days than me, I think. Because you went, you went second season more with your dad. And it's like, yeah. I, I just, I, I just I woke was, up way too many days yeah, in the morning. I that. was ready to be done. It was stupid. So we went from thinking in like February, March, we'll probably kill like 10 birds this year. On film between yeah. everybody. Like, yeah, we'll get them. Because we start thinking about, okay, it's you and me and Ben and Terry and... Uh, you know, maybe Colby will shoot one on camera. And so we kind of keep running through the whole My list. Goals, like, oh, yeah, 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 like that's easy. We can easily do that. And we ended up with one. <laughs> now, it's a pretty sweet video. I it like is, it a yeah. lot. It's fast paced. So, it, like, you know, how how many minutes is it? Seven? 7.30. 7.30, but yeah, four seven, of that's talking. I mean. Right, just like the excitement of afterwards and everything. It's fast paced. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's a good one. It's pretty cool. Um. And it was good for him, you know. He got his first bird. Uh, it was a it was a good bird to start. Like it was, it was really nice. A pretty fan, <laughs> nice respectable beard. You know, it was shoot a it younger bird, long. but it was, I would yeah, shoot it all it, day it, long. It was a time, and it was 100% worth it. Best one we had on the year, so it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the turkey hunting it was just not our year for that. It's hard to say what things are gonna look like in the future. The one thing is we learned a lot, whether it's in Wisconsin, like with permission spots, we made some relationships. There's you know, a couple of people, specifically a group of brothers who own like thousands of acres worth of farm. And they had people who hunted their property, but they knew like which period they had and when they were gonna be. And it was pretty much with them, like if nobody else was hunting that day, we were good to go. Yeah, pretty we much. We asked them and nobody was hunting that day. I was like, okay, yeah, you guys can go. Go for it. It's all good. And they were so nice. It was awesome Super to, nice to meet guys. them. We were stupid. There was hardly anybody that said yes that we were like, okay, can I get your phone number? Can we? That's the one thing I regret because... Yeah, we didn't get like, any numbers. Yeah, we should have their phone number right now. We should be able to call them up and say, hey, you know, we appreciate it start looking at next year but even for deer hunting you know we talked about deer hunting for the longest time with them and so you know we made some good relationships that way we have people like that next year that i would feel 100 percent comfortable going up and knocking on the door saying hey you know remember us from last year or looking for a place to hunt again we try it out here i mean we made some of those we figured out kind of what works and what doesn't which properties maybe to avoid you know like if they have a no soliciting sign up and like <laughs> five or six tra no trespassing signs and it's walk like away when you maybe, walk up yeah it's like well so maybe try it one time but maybe don't go back after it doesn't work you know or do we, it we learned a lot with that we learned a lot with nebraska and out of state and even other places i think 
you know, maybe some techniques to learn, like, don't waste too much time in one spot. Yeah. If there's no birds there right now, move I'm on. I'm a like, big guy. I'm a big believer in that. Yeah. And, and we did waste time because we would go through and there'd be like a, you know, 20,000 acres to check. And so we would spend an hour driving through it and it was all clear cut, <laughs> not a single standing tree in the whole thing, just mountains. And we're like looking, we'd sometimes get out, start glassing, maybe throw up a call. It's like driving it, where I don't even think we should have been driving. Like, right. I'm like if I make one wrong turn, we are just tumbling to our <laughs> yes. death down this hill. And, and, and part of that is we go, you know, you look on YouTube and somebody shoots one and it looks like it's in that kind of terrain and it's in the same area. Like we would look up that specific spot, but they we, we wasted it and some burned time. it before couple yeah. of years before it, it was recent but anyway we're, we're gonna go back for sure maybe bring some more people along so we have a little like some more opinions more eyes more cameras just stuff like that it makes it more fun too i mean yeah the more people hopefully we get a better chance to right. kill it and yeah things should be better i mean i know like turkey hunting is not a huge deal for us or really anybody on youtube it's not like a super big thing that people watch but besides the hunting just, public yeah they get a lot but they even make then a, it's, they make a whole they do but even then it's usually less than their like deer hunting and stuff but yeah we're, we're gonna try to iron some things out get it better for next year i feel confident about it um since the last podcast we've actually done quite a bit sucker spearing was a big thing that was pretty successful oh i should have um, we should have brought all our sheds with yeah we should have found I mean, that since we posted that we had the rabbit the sturgeon spearing the sheds the broadhead i mean we had a ton of it like I ton of stuff that we haven't talked about but i don't know why we didn't do the sheds We'll have to do that in the next episode. Um, maybe once our cameras, we get our cameras mm -hmm. up, maybe we can start matching them up. I think so too. Later in the summer a little bit, we'll try and do that. That's a good idea. But yeah, so sucker spearing. Um, Absolutely. It, it was, yeah, it was awesome. We got kind of screwed out of it last year because like the timing wasn't right. So it doesn't open. Basically, it's open like 11 months out of the year, but it's off in February in march kind of like for sturgeon spearing yeah that's just... so it's like offer that and there's no sturgeon that run through there i think it's just like to double triple check be super safe about it not that there's even any suckers running at that time anyways i mean I it's all full ice you'd, yeah you wouldn't be able to yeah you're not i, I don't even understand it yeah. but so they open on a certain date but to try and get them is because they're running through the river. They're going to be spawning, whatever. So you got to have good weather too. You got to have good weather. But last year they just went early by the time it was going. And some people will go early. Like I'll flat out say it. Some people will go early, illegally, ahead of the time. They'll spear them and just not care. And that's not us. We're not going to do that. We're going to wait for the date and luckily this year we waited for the date and it was perfect things were great and we had an absolute massacre yeah we went turkey hunting the morning it opened yes i convinced you yeah and then we get back and it's like we're tired it's rainy this was the first day i'm like let's go come on let's go mm -hmm. we get out there we speared a couple it was cold and rainy but like the next morning was gonna be perfect so we get out there and that's when we just just and we have more people the next yeah, day. Yeah, we loaded up. It was nice and sunny. We all got sunburned. It was awesome. So yeah, we fun. got fried. Because this was like the first sunny day. Yeah, none of us put on sunscreen. Yeah, it was like 80, 90 degrees maybe it got up to. And like two days before that, it snowed. So it was like not our yeah. fault. I, I didn't know I still had to put sunscreen on here. And yeah, it was a, it was a blast. Um, My waders were filled. I, yeah. I never was dry at all. Dude, you had to pull the whole boat. Like we, so you can't throw them on the bank either, and like just legally. leave them there to rot. Yeah, legally you can't do that. People so, will. And so people are bad. Right. Two years ago, when we gone when we had gone before, we would bring like a laundry basket or something to try and throw a, them in, cut like a, a, a barrel, a, a five or a fifty gallon drum in half. Yeah, try carrying Stupid. that down the river absolutely stupid and so at that point that's when i said we need to buy an inflatable raft like let's buy a boat okay <laughs> and we're gonna just throw them all in there it's gonna float then we if we need to like we can all haul it up and down it's gonna be perfect and then the next year we didn't even get to use it this year we finally <laughs> got to break it out i had it all decked out with decals and everything it looked awesome and it worked like a dream it was, and it was you great. had to pull it mostly it wasn't so, bad yeah i mean props upstream, to you for doing that upstream wasn't the best but but yeah, it, it was it was pretty cool. If you haven't seen that video yet, 
Check that one out. That, that one's just straight yeah. action. That one's fun. That one's pretty cool. We had the broadhead test. Also pretty cool. It, you know, it's a different kind of pace, different speed. It's a little bit longer video too, uh, but it, it was kind of eye-opening for us. We've always shot the same. We shoot the Rage Tripan. That's what we've kind of always shot, at least for the past couple of years now, and haven't really had any failures or any like bad experiences, but I know some people do have bad experiences with expandables and that's kind of an older model now, the Tripan. Like now they have the Rage, like hypodermic. Yeah, I know when I was getting my bow there, I, I got a new bow. That'll be coming out in a new video, but yep. um, we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, I was like looking at the, at the store and I'm like, dude, they got like, there's just a whole wall of Rage. Yeah. So and they're like, they're usually like, so they have like the ones without a collar now. The tripans have a collar, and sometimes if that doesn't open, then bad things. But now they make them like that don't have a collar. So they and then they might open in flight, and then it flies funny. But you know, it's just that's it all comes down if you shoot in the right spot, it's gonna die. Yeah, that's pretty much what we concluded at the end of it. But it was eye-opening, too. It was too. fun, like, too. Yeah, we, we had a to, lot of fun. Yeah, we had to Shoot test out a barrel. couple different ones. We did some pretty cool tests. That was the thing. We kind of had a higher budget for that video. We did some cooler things. Um, and so that was pretty sweet. The shed hunting. The shed hunting was fun. We found a lot. It was That was another one that was a little bit disappointing. Like, we found a ton of sheds. It was awesome. But we couldn't match up any of the big sets that we wanted to. Mostly that Freak's Offspring. That was yeah. cool. I was glad we even found it, but... I mean, we killed three shooters off that property. The neighbors killed a few. So I was like, four. No, the na yeah, four. But they, and they killed three. Mm -hmm. So we weren't expecting to find much. And that we love that. That's just a good way. It's like winter's kind of over. You get out. You get to be out in the oh, woods. Oh, it's the best. But usually when the sun comes out at that time, it gets warm. And it's only like 50 degrees. And we're walking around in t-shirts just because we're from Wisconsin. Yeah, and that's it's... warm to us. So that's, that's always fun. And then we ended up finding what? 13, 12, 13. 12 or 13, something like that. Me and my that. uncle it was came along more than last room. year. Yeah, he brought his dog. dog and that was fun. I mean, we had a lot of fun doing that. And then uh, you kind of had a big uh Yeah, before that, that big was my, my big sturgeon. And that was pretty cool. That one, like, it, you can't even really talk about it. You just have to go and watch it. It was a pretty Too sweet long, video. Yeah, we talked the forever. one thing that sucks, the one thing that sucks is that I paralyzed it. Now, I'm not going to complain. You can't complain. That, that's a big fish. Most people, everybody would be happy to spear that fish. Some people, that's like a once-in-a-lifetime fish. Not going to complain in the slightest. But I threw my spear down, and I paralyzed it, so there's no action to it. <laughs> it doesn't kick. It doesn't swim around. It doesn't splash. It almost comes off there's when none you get of up to the hole. That's the thing. It gets a little hairy there. And so did them, all of them, like, last year, the year before, we speared three, and they're all kicking <laughs> and splashing, and it's just like everything's Mine's going crazy. Like... And it still was, you know pretty precarious getting them out this one that was the thing i get it all the way up and as it's coming up in the water column it like starts tilting and so i can tell like okay the spirit's not like in there but coming up like this yeah and so then get the gaff on there but it's heavy and it's like where the door is and the spear's so long and the spearhead didn't come off so I had to get the whole spear all fully attached out the I mean, window. You never speared one. Out the door. You were with us when we speared those two, so you kind of knew. Them. I mean, and then Gabby's little brother, Jeff. Yeah, but it was only ever, my second year. Was he ever in there when someone He's never speared seen one? one. So there's like two newbies in there. And yeah. I, I watched two get speared. I should have speared two last year. I, you can only legally spear one, but I had a, a miss and then a mishap and an equipment yeah. failure. So I should be two years in a row now. <laughs> I'm upset about that too, but again, yeah, he's really I, spoiled. I know, can't complain. It's whatever, but yeah, it was it was pretty cool. Um, and it, that was like the first time. So that's where we put in all the drone footage. We had it all. I'm sure if you're watching this, you've probably seen it. But we spent uh, a lot of time on the way. It was a lot of time, a lot of effort went into that video. It was it's probably the best one we've made. If you've already seen it, you should still probably go back and watch it again. It was a cool one. We. We watch it a lot too. The thing it's that sucked like, though is it was like sleeting that day. Like it was. It was. We had off of school. Like they never canceled my school or his, and we got off of school. And I was like, ah, I'm just gonna stay in, do all my homework, go give plasma and stuff. And I'm sitting at plasma and he FaceTimes me. I'm like, uh -huh. no way. No one ever FaceTimes me. I'm like, no <laughs> way. He's like, buddy, we got one. I'm like, 
I'm like pumping as fast as I can to get out there. I'm like, I gotta go. We get out of plasma, I go pick up Gabby, we get out on the lake, and it's like a complete whiteout. It was terrible. They moved that day before, so Gabby and I are like. No, we moved that morning. Yeah, that morning, so we're like trying to figure out where it is, trying not to hit oh any ice God. shelves or the cracks or anything like that. And That's I'm, the thing, like, <laughs> Lake Winnebago is a straight beast. up dangerous. Yeah. Like, it's, you don't mess with it. You got to know the lake. You got to know where the bad spots are. Which we don't really. I mean, we're not like some people who know that, like the back of their hand. And I mean, yeah. ice is different. It changes every day. And right. That's the thing. Because we even were, people who do know the lake end up going in every year. It happens every year. People you know, we in. were excited to get out there to see it. And anyway, we got out there and it was a super cool experience. And then mm -hmm. and we didn't. We moved at the end of the year and a bunch of people in my group got them, but just not us. But it was still cool. Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of what's been happening since the last podcast. Well, and the rabbit video. And the rabbit video. Which everybody likes. Yeah, everybody's we watching the rabbit videos. Let, we got, if you guys wanted more, we can hunt rabbits every weekend. Yeah, we I got think a bunch this, of spots this winter, to go. yeah, we're going to get like four or five rabbit videos out there. They're fun. I mean, like it's just fun to go and yeah, rabbit is a good some, time. and Knock down some predators, or not predators, but small game. Yeah, it's a, you know, a lot of action. Easy to make. So, yeah, the... That's that's kind of been the recap since our last podcast. We're probably going to do a little bit more frequently here. I'd like to. I love shooting these podcasts. And you know, I know podcasts, as we talked about earlier, it's not everybody's favorite. Yeah, people just aren't into it. I, I love, I listen, I have an hour drive to work every single day. And so far, that's all I've listened to. I just listen to various podcasts. I have like half a dozen that I listen to. And I just put them on and I listen in the car. Absolutely love it. Some people are like that. Some people aren't. I wasn't, but then when we worked last summer and I listened to, we listened to. I turned music. you on to a couple. Yeah, that's all we did. Like we were, we had headphones on every day because we were cutting and weed eating and always doing stuff like you just needed to listen to music. Couldn't talk to anybody, so I was like, I'm getting sick of listening to the same music. So I listened to podcasts. I used to not like them. I drove an hour to school, well, not an hour to school every day, but 45 minutes to school every day, and I was like. Well, I started listening to podcasts, and now mm -hmm. I love podcasts. I listen to them all the time, every time. I'm excited when new ones come out. Yeah, and, absolutely. And especially, like, you know, people start bringing on guests, and then that's interesting because you want to find out about that. We want to do that, too. We want to keep getting guests on here, people who are, like, you know, really experienced in the hunting and fishing industry or, like, really have a big accomplishment specifically. Like, that's kind of where we're trying to go with guests. And we have, we have a couple in mind. Nothing necessarily lined up. I think, but pretty soon my dad and I. We want to do that too. We'll have a, that one. So that's coming yeah. So soon. if if you're interested in the podcast, we want to do one. That's probably going to be the next one. We'll go over the sheds, and we'll talk about your buck from this year and Terry's buck from this year. Hopefully, we get them back and can bring and, them down here. Yeah, and that's going to be that's going to be our episode, I think. Um, so that one's going to be a pretty good one. Go over the stories that I get to see them. His is back. Yours isn't back yet. Hopefully soon. Pretty quick. It's coming up hopefully on when soon. the time frame was. I mean, so. hopefully the guy just does a good job. That's what matters most. But hopefully it gets soon. Comes I have back no to problem you. waiting. I waited five years for a turkey. So. I know, which is insane. <laughs> That's like insane. That guy should be fired immediately. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so we've got some things planned for the summer. We're going to try and keep the podcast frequency coming up. We like doing them. If you guys like them, don't forget hit the like button, leave a comment. We really appreciate it. It helps us out tremendously. I mean, like that just more than you know. It really helps. It's so easy. Hit the like button. We just like getting up leave here to talk about hunting and see what other it's people great, think. It's great, man. It's absolutely great. Yeah, so pretty much for the rest of the summer, it should be just some new bows. Hopefully. We got a new bow coming out. We got musky fishing. We got carp shooting. And we got that other podcast. Yep some food plots we're gonna try some new stuff this year so we're, we're gonna, gonna see look at some works. deer prep um i got something i didn't even tell you about this yet i got a special fishing charter like 50 percent lined up not like 70 percent lined up 50 or 70 like 70 dang where i first thought 50 is more like 70 and like michigan like Big time. We're going salmon fishing. Really? When? Yeah, I have no idea. That's the other 30%. <laughs> but we got the boat. We got the captain. We just got to figure out the where. Well, we know the where, too. We just got to figure out the when. That's it. Figure out when, and we're going. So, yeah. 
There might be a special video like that, and then who knows what else. We're just going to see what happens. Hopefully we can start making some good improvements now that we have big boy jobs, as some people would say, with some big boy money. Yeah, hopefully can, start getting the mics improved, the cameras, get it all. Buy another know. GoPro. Yeah, somebody, we're hoping to come out with. Somebody lost ours. Yeah, I don't know who that was. It wasn't me. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to hopefully get a website out there. Yep. We've had merch for forever, but we've only been able to like sell it and ship it locally pretty much. Yeah. We're so we're hoping to get a website out there where we can have all of our videos up, we can have our merch up, we can have, you know, like maybe even like a newsletter sort of thing, almost like a condensed podcast where we can say, Hey, here's what's going on, here's what's coming up. Um maybe even a place where you guys can submit like what kind of videos you want to see or maybe apply to be a guest on the podcast i don't know we're hoping to get something developed like that where we can really have that interaction get that website up hopefully that's coming at some point this summer and obviously the merch coming off of that a lot of big things planned just got to make them happen and then we're going to be rolling right into deer season so yeah it's gonna be awesome i know this episode is kind of a you know, recap episode of what's been going on and, and where we're going. Um, not a whole lot new happening in this episode, but I think there's some big things well, that are going to be coming. One big thing. What's that? This, if it loads, or kind of our big milestone. Oh yeah, yeah. We had a thousand subscribers, so that was a big deal. Um, you know, there's all kinds of stuff that that big deal comes. Us. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff that comes with it too, but. You know, yeah, that's a huge milestone. There's not that many people that ever really get that far on YouTube. So that was a pretty proud moment for us. And that actually happened while we were in Nebraska on like our second to last day. Well, so we got it before we left. Then you have to, you know, go through some other process stuff. But applications. Yeah, but yeah. In, in Nebraska, um, you know, we got stuff to come through. And so that was, that was pretty cool. Um, big accomplishment for us um really proud of that it was one of those things where like i don't want to say i never thought we'd make it that far because obviously like that's the dream like i thought we could but when you get started you never know what the journey is going to be like you know, how really long it's going to take work it is the work that goes into it the money that goes into it the time all that stuff and so once when you're before you start and you're like oh yeah like we'll you know get up to a thousand subscribers that'll be easy we'll get, i was like yeah i know a thousand people they'll all subscribe <laughs> it just doesn't work that way and once you have time and money and effort attached to it it just that meaning starts to come in it gets it's so like much a more second meaningful. job almost dude it is yeah but it's it, a fun one it's it like is. one that we like doing that's so the thing it, that, it doesn't feel yeah. like work hopefully maybe someday this will be the one and only job We'll see if that happens it would all be thanks to you guys for continuing to watch our content support us the best thing you can do right now is hit that like button maybe leave us a comment share it with your friends whatever you can do if you're not already subscribe to the channel it all helps and we appreciate all of it it's 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 what keeps us going it's what keeps us getting to do this bring more content and hopefully continue this for years to come and you know just continue to branch out bring cooler content new content things that other creators on youtube haven't even done yet like that's that's where we're trying to get to that's where we're going i think we have a plan in place but ultimately it all comes down to you guys and we couldn't be more appreciative of everything so far and, and how far you've gotten us so um Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, stay tuned for more things to come, and we'll see you next time.